Hello, I am Ode Kilona, Member of Parliament of Estonia. We live in a moment that is, um, well, not ideal. Fortunately, it's not a nightmare either, given that we are not in war. Or, as Mr. Zelensky, President of Ukraine, put it, uh, don't panic. There is no greater threat than there was a year ago. Let's not disapprove the situation we are in. It's certainly better than an open war. Those, of course, who attack the status quo continuously, as you have seen in the last uh, months in media, usually come forward in this moment and say, but Crimea, but Lugansk, but Donetsk, but territorial integrity of Ukraine, and so on and so forth. Well, let's ask them, is the situation favorable to Russian interests? And if yes, why would she go to war over a situation that is already in her interests and what she hasn't tried to change since 2014? Usually political elites want to get something out of war, they are not completely crazy. So why on this particular moment, a winter where different NATO states are arming Kiev, Russia would find its best interests to go into war to gain... To gain what exactly? No, it's not logical, neither politically nor, nor tactically, neither technically nor economically. So, let's calm down. If we analyze interests of all parties, it's very easy to see that the balance of interests is to keep the situation where we are in now. Even for Mr. Zelensky, to mention him again, the loss from open war is um, many times higher than, uh, than going to the full-fledged conflict, even if the status quo is, is not of his liking. It's better than alternative. So, keep calm and carry on, as the English used to say. Let's try to limit as little as possible the contacts between ordinary people. Let them re-establish the economical and cultural ties that there have always been in our region. Let people's democracy take, it, take its course. I'm sure that in some years, our ordinary people will better the situation. We will see the reality when, where diplomatic agreements between states are again possible. Those diplomatic agreements that would improve the situation for all of us. Thank you.